Now, where do you go when you die? It's an age-old question. Here's the answer, 7th Avenue in Jefferson. Here's the Sanders office. Um, your wedding ring, your wallet, your watch, all of your personal effects, your underwear get put into a red plastic biohazard bag. They're stored in a safe at the mortuary that your loved ones chose. Only your loved ones are allowed to access that. It is a $10,000 fine if anybody steals your stuff, even your underwear. Um, if you had an especially catastrophic death, if you died potentially of a homicide or a suicide, if they don't know why you died, you'll be autopsy. They may also want to autopsy you if you died of a well-researched disease, like Alzheimer's, they may want to look at your brain for research. And to autopsy you, they'll take blood and tissue samples, maybe some photographs. If they have to look around underneath the hood, they will cut open your skull and your sternum, remove your organs, weigh them, examine them, place them back into your abdominal cavity, even your brain. If your head is empty, it will be filled with cotton. And it's kind of the same thing for a homicide. You're not going to be laying on a slab for six months until they figure out who done it. They're just taking forensic samples, maybe some extra tissue, maybe some fingernails. 